Hey, good morning guys, it's Jez. Uh, it's August already. Where the heck did the, the year go? Um, this is uh, a short video today. Um, the weather's looking a bit ropey. All of a sudden it's, it's turned. We've gone from like arid, desert-like <laughs> lengths of, uh, of searing hot um, weather, which I have to say, dressed like head to toe in a cotton bee suit, I am sort of not missing the, the horrible, uh, horrible heat. Uh, it was lovely when I'm in shorts and t-shirt, but not so great when you're dressed head to toe, but I don't want to wish it away. It would be nice if it's come back, but uh, it's a nice, nice refreshing change. Um, uh, so we've been chasing our tail a little bit. We've had a bit of a wasp issue. Turns out the whole country has, so that's okay. So I did panic that maybe we'd done something wrong somewhere that I wasn't sure of, uh, but we've had uh, like, you know, a, a biblical number of wasps and invasion. Um, and uh, we've got a tiny bit of disease in some of the colonies as well. Um, entirely um, uh, unavoidable, it's entirely natural. You know, it's really sad when I speak to bee farmers from 10, 20 years ago, they didn't have disease and have to worry about it. Um, and we've got, you know, five or six that I'm constantly trying to keep ahead of. Uh, we have a really, really, really clean uh, pest and disease strategy here. So we clean all of our tools between each of the inspections of the hives. We clean our bee suits uh, after every time we inspect. Uh, we use disposable gloves. So, um, you know, there's nothing more I don't think we could have done. But even so, we're still putting our heads together to think, is there any other way that we can get around it? Um, so it's keeping us really, really busy this year. Um, honey's done, uh, so I'm just going to have a quick, so these are all of the super, well not, they're not all at all, there's some of the supers um, there that they had honey in. Honey's been extracted, they've got a video that uh, by the time you've seen this you may or may not have seen the other video that we're making to show you some of the honey making process. Uh, but today it's a bit overcast. There's a lot of rain forecast for this afternoon, so we're going to get into some of the hives really, really quickly. Just check they're okay, really, really basic. Um, feed the ones that need a little bit of help um, to give them some extra strength to, to try and fend off some of the, uh, the disease um, and then get back to do some jobs uh, in the wood store in, um, when, when the, the rain starts coming. So no internal shots today of, uh, of your hive. I'm gonna take some pictures of them all snuggling up at the front uh, when they know it's gonna rain. Uh, they will just kind of get some nice fresh air circulating in, maybe uh, absorb some of the water droplets. Uh, it's pretty cute. Uh, but all in all, your bees are absolutely fine. They've produced an amazing amount of honey. Um, we won a great taste award for our honey, a one star as well. Uh, so they're at sort of a great taste award and then three stars, we won one star. Um, so we're incredibly excited about that. Uh, I told my dad, my dad said, who gets the award? Is it you or the bees? On reflection, thanks dad. It's not ours at all, it's the bees, but uh, <laughs> you'll get to enjoy that award-winning honey uh, later on this year when we ship it to you in just a couple of weeks time. So. Um, I'm going to go off and get some uh, uh, the, the smoker lit, um, get my bee hood up, and uh, go and check your bees. So uh, see you very soon.